rock and roll. Uh, my name is Christina Campbell. I am a nationally registered certified master aromatherapist with a bachelor's degree in holistic nutrition. I have been involved with Young Living for 16 years come this June. And Pamela Hyen, who is a certified wellness consultant, and myself developed the Prevention Plus series to include the healthy immune system. So hold on to your seats. I hope you enjoy uh, the presentation tonight, and I hope that you'll learn a lot. I hope that you get introduced to some new products that you may not be familiar with from Young Living, especially if you are fairly new to Young Living, and that you uh, get on Essential Rewards and you start using a couple of new products every month. This is the way I learned. I really didn't even have anybody to guide me to do this. It was just kind of a no-brainer. We didn't have essential rewards back in the day, but I just said, you know what? I want to try these new things. I want to try and see if they can improve my health anymore. And that's what I did. And I will tell you now, I use many, many, many Young Living products and love every one of them. So let's get started. What you're going to learn tonight is the importance of a healthy immune system. What part immunity plays in our overall health? Which organs are a part of the immune system? And what functions the cells play in the immune system process? You're also going to learn some disorders of a compromised immune system. And then how do we support a healthy immune system? That's really the most important uh, topic or thing that you'll learn tonight. So let's talk a little bit about what the immune system is. It's actually a biological structure with processes within the body that protect against disease. The, the immune system kills pathogens and tumor cells. It detects a wide variety of agents from viruses to parasitic worms. It distinguishes the body's own healthy system, the, own, the body's own healthy cells and tissues in order to function properly, which is really a miraculous feat in and of itself because when you think about discriminating between healthy cells and unhealthy cells, your body has that innate intelligence that God gave it. It's, it's incredible. It has a complicated detection system as pathogens can evolve rapidly and they can adapt to avoid the immune system allowing pathogens to successfully infect the body. So those pathogens are intelligent as well. So it's two warring factions, if you will, going on in your body. Uh, and who wins depends on how we treat our body, what we feed our body, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. So you can see a picture of everything that's um, in involved in the immune system, the lymphatic tissue, the bone marrow, the small intestines, the pyre patches, the spleen, the lymph nodes, the thoracic duct, the left subclavian vein, the tonsils, the adenoids, the large intestine to include the appendix, the thymus, and the right lymphatic duct as well. Major organs of the immune system, bone marrow. This is where all the cells of the human immune system are actually formed. They're responsible for the production of immune, important immune system cells like B cells and granulocytes and natural, natural killer cells and immature thymocytes or T cells. They produce red blood cells and platelets, the bone marrow does. And then there's the thymus gland, which is located in the upper chest region, and it produces scores of lymphocytes or white blood cells during childhood. Immature cells produced at the bone marrow migrate to mature in the thymus gland. And it only allows the beneficial T cells to be released into the bloodstream. It eliminates T cells that evoke a detrimental auto autoimmune response. So do you see how these two um, major Parts of the body work in tandem with each other. They work in conjunction, synergistically together, the thymus and the bone marrow. Well, the spleen is also a part of this, and it's found under the left rib cage near the side. It holds a reservoir of blood and platelets. 
It destroys old red blood cells and functions as a lymph gland to filter the blood. The lymph nodes filter the interstitial fluid present between the cells of the human body, and it's situated throughout the entire body. It's a system, like, a, like the nervous system, it uh, is in the legs, in the arms, in the neck, in the, uh, you know, the thoracic part of the body, the, um, but just the whole, whole body. It acts as an immunologic filter and drains lymph from most of the body tissues, filters out antigens before allowing the lymph to return to circulation. A, a couple of oils and uh, products that are very, very supportive to the lymphatic system are leadum and grapefruit and thyme oil. That would make a great um, blend to use on the bottom of your feet, take it in capsules, uh, rub it on the areas. I would dilute it because thyme can be pretty, you know, awakening. Uh, but I would, you could dilute it and rub it over the lymph areas, like inner thighs, um, the neck, under the arm. But I would dilute it quite a bit with the feet, with the time. And did you know that Young Living produces two deodorants that are lymphatic detoxifiers? These are our Aroma Guard deodorants, Mountain Mint, which is our favorite, and Meadow Mist. But both of them have oils in them that tend to cleanse the lymph. They're lymphatic detoxifiers. That's pretty cool. I don't know of anybody else who has deodorant that can say that about their deodorant. Other immune system organs, the large and small intestine. You know, whenever I talk to a chronic therapist, they always tell me that the immune system is, starts and ends in the gut because it houses over 700 species of bacteria that perform a variety of functions. It produces antibodies effective against pathogens, preventing infection or invasion. It produces enzymes to detoxify the antigens and the xenobiotics or chemicals such as drugs. And it's home to health enhancing friendly bacteria, promoting immune system health. These guys really look happy. <laughs> Other immune system organs are the appendix. And you know, back in the day when I was growing up, it was easy for a doctor to say, just remove that appendix. But the, I don't think they really understood how these, what part these little appendages on the large intestine played in our immunity. The appendix we know now contains an abundant infection-fighting lymphoid cells, abundant, an abundance of them. They protect beneficial bacteria in the gut. They're a haven for useful bacteria, and they help in the recovery from illness, providing a safe house for beneficial bacteria. Pyrus patches are lymphoid tissue that are usually found in the lowest portion of the small intestine. They help to facilitate immune responses as well. Other, other immune system organs are the tonsils and the adenoids. These are lumpy clusters of spongy tissue that help protect from infection. They trap harmful bacteria and viruses that you breathe in or swallow. They contain cells that make antibodies to help your body fight infection, especially important infection fighting fighters for babies and children. Adenoids usually shrink after about age five, and by the teenage years, they often practically disappear. Reoccurrent tonsillitis may be due to a compromised immune system. So see, there's a lot of different There's a lot of different um, organs and systems that actually play a big part. Type two, two types of immunity. There is the innate or the nonspecific immunity, which includes 
phagocytes and natural killer cells, NK cells. These are programmed to recognize alien or hostile pathogens and destroy them. Specific immunity includes lymphocytes, which are white blood corpuscles, and they recognize specific alien or hostile pathogens and attack to destroy with a specific protein called an antibody. So these two types of cells have limited functions. They guard us, they protect us, and they usher specific pathogens out of our body. So let's take a look at them, uh, to, at two more types of lymphocytes, and then we're gonna take a look at them at work and how they they go out as an arsenal, as a force to protect um, the, the human body. We have B cells, which are produced in the bone marrow, and they're dispatched throughout the body, and they congregate in nodes of the lymphatic system. And then we have T cells, and these are produced in the bone marrow, and they're sent to the thymus gland for maturity, as I mentioned earlier, and they're developed from thymus when, and the de they're deployed, excuse me, deployed from the thymus when they're needed to fight invaders. So do you see how this is like um, the, the military? You know, that these guys go out and they attack the bad guys. These are all the white hat guys. And then we got the bad guys out there, right? These two cells are the leaders of our immune system. They learn, they adapt, and they remember. They prepare for present and future activation, and they are executed when needed or deployed. So these natural killer cells, uh, there's actually been some research done in Japan that I thought was really interesting. This is called phyto, phytone side. Um, they're natural wood essential oils. So in Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan, people com commonly engage in what is called forest bathing. To breathe in these phytone sides, emitted by, by the plants and the trees in order to improve their health. Data indicates that these woody central oils significantly enhance the human natural killer cell, or the NK cell. They enhance that activity by preventing the growth of the attached catching organism. So, you know, I think it kind of goes without saying that being out in the woods, smelling pine trees and all the natural things that God gave us is going to do nothing but promote health. So that's pretty cool that they're doing that kind of um, breathing in the woods. So here's a picture of the cells of the immune system and a little summary on how these guys really work. First of all, a virus, this is the little yellow thing here, a virus infects the body, cells display viral antigens. So it's going in here and then the viral antigens start to you know, attack the virus. Microphages engulf the virus and display viral antigens. These are the viral antigens. This is the tissue. So it's going to be surrounding it. Number three, microphages activate helper T cells. Okay, so now I'm, I'm Call it in my helpers. Number four, helper T cells activate the cytotoxic T and B cells. So you are really attacking this bad virus. You can see it's turning black now. <clears throat> Number five, cells form plasma cells. T cells form plasma cells. Number six, plasma cells make antibodies which bind to the viral antigen. Number seven, antibodies attach to the virus and the infected body cells and they signal for their destruction. So they're, they're like beep, 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 we're honing mm -hmm. in on that virus which is now dying. And so this is the infected body cell and it's gonna be cleared of this little virus. So the foreign substance or antigen enters the body and initiates an immune system response. As the bodies are released to counter the antigens, thereby freeing the body of infection. This system of teamwork 
among the organs of the immune system is simply magnificent. So let's talk now about some immunodeficiency disorders. Um, these are out there in, in you know, our everyday life, aren't they? And they occur when a part of the immune system is not present or is not working properly. It can be hereditary. It may appear later in life, or it may be acquired through infection or produced by drugs. A secondary immunodeficiency is, can be caused by chemotherapy treatments and immune suppressant medications. So some of the autoimmune dis disorders uh, that we're aware of, uh, that we've heard about, immune, the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's healthy organs and tissues as though they were foreign invaders, are uh, disorders like lupus and scleroderma. Lupus is a chronic disease. It affects the muscles. It, it, gives, uh, it results in joint pain and inflammation. Also, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder. And it's an inflammatory condition that, is, uh, that affects the joints and causes joint pain. Scleroderma is the thickening of the skin and causes an overproduction of collagen. Allergic disorders. Allergic disorders occur when the immune system overreacts to exposure to antigens in the environment. It can cause symptoms such as swelling, watery eyes and sneezing, and even a life-threatening reaction called anaphylaxis. Asthma is one of those allergic disorders. Asthma is a respiratory disorder that can cause breathing problems. Allergic response by the lungs to certain allergens like pollen, mold, animal dander, or dust mites. Breathing tubes in the lungs may become narrow. Reduced airflow makes it hard for a person to breathe. Other allergic disorders could be eczema, which is an itchy rash, also known as atopic dermatitis, not necessarily caused by an allergic reaction. It can occur in those who have allergy, hay fever, or asthma, or have had a family history of these conditions. Other types of allergies are environmental, like to dust mites, for example, or seasonal allergies or drug allergies, food allergies, or toxins like bee stings, for example. A lot, some people are highly allergic to bee stings. So let's talk now about supporting your immune system with therapeutic grade essential oils. One of my very favorite essential oil blends for strengthening the immunity in the body or bringing the body to, to balance or home, homeostasis is Emu Power. Emu Power is powerful. It contains the essential oils of hyssop, Ravensera, clove, which is one of the highest antioxidant oils on the planet. In fact, it is the highest antioxidant oil on the planet that we know of today. Also, mountain savory, frankincense, cumin, this is oregano and Idaho tansy. Look at this arsenal of oils. They are antiviral. They can enhance immune cell regeneration. They're antimicrobial, antibacterial, and anti-infectious. And I have a little testimony here because I love this oil so much. It says, whenever I feel a little under the weather, I reach for my Emmy power. I put a few drops on the bottom of my feet and I go to bed. And by the next morning, I'm good to go. You can diffuse this. Um, I just like to put it on the bottom of my feet. I think when I'm just feeling under the weather, that is just the best thing for me. You can directly inhale it or add two to four drops in your bath water. You can apply it around the navel, the chest, the temples, the wrists, under the nose, or the VitaFlex point on the bottom of the feet. Uh, there may be possible skin sensitivity, so you might want to dilute this with uh, V6 mixing oil. And I think that's one of the reasons I put it just straight on my, the bottom of my feet. It works really good for me. Here's a uh, testimonial by Sonia Simpson out of Nebraska. And she says, I was about two and a quarter years past having chemo for colon cancer. 
The chemo was for six months, one week on and three weeks off. My reaction to the chemo was harsh. I lost most of my hair, which is unusual, and had terrible mouth, mouth sores. I thought I was over it, but about six months ago, I had a skin eruption on both of my lower legs in the front. No inching or other adverse complaints. My oncologist asked me to get checked by a dermatologist, which I did, and we tried some prescribed ointments that did not work. Scrapings did not show spores or molds, so she took a biopsy. It was negative for cancer or precancer. I felt it might be latent chemo reaction. Hard to believe. My liver function tests had been good. I felt intuitively that my immune system might need a boost, so I started applying ImmuPower essential oils twice a day over my liver and on the soles of my feet. Within a week, the sores have abated, and I returned to the dermatologist in two weeks. I think she would be surprised. That's a wonderful testimony. So um, two other oils that I highly recommend to enhance, support the immune system is lemon oil and frankincense oil. Both of these stimulate the immune system and they have the ability to increase the white blood cell count in the bone marrow. So if your bone marrow is making white blood cells, how about making some more? You know, the spleen always houses those mature blood cells or platelets that you um, might need for the future. So I just think it's great to have extra on hand. You can inhale this or diffuse the lemon oil and drink it in pure water for added benefits, or you can take it in a capsule. In 1995, MIE University study found that citrus fragrances Boosted immunity, induced relaxation, and reduced depression. So, of course, lemon oil is a citrus oil. Frankincense can be inhaled, diffused, two to four drops on location, Vitaflex points on the feet, and as a dietary supplement, you can put it in a capsule or do like Kenneth and I do. We put five drops in our Ningxia Red in the morning when we drink our Ningxia Red. So, we like that. We think that's um, our... Uh, con our cancer prevention protocol. And it was just something that was recommended to us by Dr. H.K. Lin. So I figured he's a pretty smart guy on the subject of cancer. I'm going to go for that. Here are picture, here's a picture of the immune system Vitaflex point. Um, number one, you'll see the thymus right here. Number two, we have the spleen right over here. Number three, we have the small intestine. It's all down in here on both sides, three. And number four is the appendix, right in here. So um, these are the immune system vitaflex points, the thymus, the spleen, the small intestine, and the appendix. Two other oils that are very, very powerful, and actually these single oils were part of ImmuPower, uh, are mountain savory and oregano. They are both immune stimulants. They're antiviral, antibacterial, antiseptic and antimicrobial. There's a published research paper that shows that mountain savory showed anti-HIV-1 activity uh, in that study. Oregano is a powerful anti-infectious agent for respiratory, nerves, blood, and lymphatic, including the spleen, and it's a large spectrum against, um, it is large spectrum action against mycobacteria and viruses. Apply drops on location, on the Vitaflex points, diffuse or take internally in capsules, or get a raindrop. Getting on a raindrop treatment on a regular basis can actually enhance the immune system as well. And we don't actually address that in this particular presentation, but it just came to my, my mind. Oh, two of my favorite and Kenneth's favorite oil blends are Egyptian Gold and Exodus II. I think if I was going to go for three oils, I would go with ImmuPower, Egyptian Gold, and Exodus 3. I think these, for boosting the immune system, they're just so powerful. Uh, they're both anti-infectious, antiviral, antibacterial. They amplify the immunity, and they're empowering to the entire body. You can diffuse these. You can directly inhale them. You can add it to bath water. I would put it in some Epsom salts if you're going to add it to bath water. 
anytime that we say add to bath water, mix yourself up a mixture of uh, Epsom salts, maybe some sea salt, um, also some uh, baking soda is nice. And all of these things cleanse the auric field of the body where um, illness comes through first and can detoxify the body. And so adding a couple of drops of these wonderful oils to that bath water can be really, really beneficial. You can also apply these two oils to the Vitaflex points on the feet or along the spine. Here's raindrop style for a powerful immune booster. Egyptian gold has an aromatic enchanting scent, and both may have, have possible skin sensitivity, so uh, make sure that you dilute it. Let's look at the oils in Egyptian gold. You're going to see many of the biblical oils, of course. Frankincense, hyssop, lavender, myrrh, cedarwood, balsam fir, Idaho balsam fir, spikenard, rose, and cinnamon bark. And then in Exodus 2, you're going to see cassia being the, one of the first oils listed. So cassia is like cinnamon and can be very hot. Calamus, spikenard, myrrh, galbanum, frankincense, cinnamon bark, and hyssop. So this one is going to be a little bit hotter than the essential, uh, than the Egyptian gold, but both of them should be diluted if you're going to put them on any sensitive skin. You can put them right straight up on your bottom of your feet, they shouldn't bother you. But, you know, if you're putting them, like, on the inner thigh, uh, dilute it a lot, you know, for lymph um, cleansing. And, of course, these are standby. You know, it's antibacterial, antiviral, anti-infectious, antimicrobial, amplifies immunity because of the lemon oil in it, uh, promotes, promotes lymphocytes and lymphocyte formation, kills airborne micro microorganisms when diffused. So this is a great one to diffuse to kill airborne bacteria. Just diffuse for 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and in the evening. Or you can put two to four drops on the bottom of your feet every morning to boost the immune system throughout the day and to take internally in a capsule when you're feeling that your immune system may be compromised. We actually had uh, what we call the bug buster back in the day where we would take a double lot capsule we would put 10 drops of seed in it we would add eight drops of oregano and two drops of frankincense and we would take that up to three times a day of course now we have inner defense which we're going to be talking about here in a minute but that works pretty much the same way here's a couple of testimonies one is from australia um, Rika says, since I started to take a drop of seeds oil in the morning and at night, I have not had a flu or viral infection for several months. Prior to this, I had something nearly every month. I also felt clearer in my head and more alert. I know that others noticed an improvement as, as when I ran out of my seeds oil for a few days, someone from work asked if I was okay, as I'd looked so well and now looked tired again. I had not told anyone at this stage that I was trying the oil. Working in schools and around children, I make sure these is always there to help keep my immune system stronger. And Eva from Texas said, in 2009, I had the privilege of returning to the food and beverage industry as a sales associate, aka a waitress. The average day consists of encountering hundreds of people's airborne germs, saliva, and filthy money. Boosting my immune system and killing these germs were of the utmost importance. So every day, I would put at least two drops of seeds under my tongue, one to three times, and I stayed well the entire year. A couple more that are very powerful, and you saw these in Inu Power again, is clove and rosemary. Antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial, and antiparasitic. Used for infectious diseases. I actually shouldn't be saying that. That needs to probably be taken off. Um, you can use this to support a healthy, disease-free body, uh, to support healthy liver conditions, healthy throat, throat and lungs, to ward off infections, and to keep you um, to keep you in homeostasis. Right. Um, also, clove has an immune effect, so you can place one drop on the back of the tongue for tickling cough, and the anticoagulant properties of clove 
are enhanced when combined with warfarin and aspirin. When both oils can be applied on location, Vitaflex points directly inhaled or taken in capsules. So this probably is a good idea to add to this slide somewhere or this presentation somewhere that um, my disclaimer, which is I'm not here to prescribe or diagnose. This is merely for education, educational purposes. And of course, I just have a lot of fun sharing. So um, if you can push that to the game. Hopefully there isn't anybody on from the FDA. Okay, um, boosting immunity by diffusing. We talked about diffusing. And we have a couple of uh, different diffusers that we want to introduce you to. Most of you have come into the Young Living by uh, you getting the Start Living, the Premium Start Living Kit, the Premium Everyday Oils Kit, and with that you've probably gotten the Home Diffuser. Uh, that's a very nice diffuser, especially to run in the uh, bedroom at night, you know, or in the children's room at night. It's got a little night light. The Aria Ultrasonic Diffuser. Uh, is another great diffuser. I've had this for many years, and I just found out that there is a plate and key replacement. So after a few years, if that plate loses its ability to diffuse the oil, for six dollars you can you can replace that plate. And I didn't know that. So this is uh, good information for everybody, I think. And also the Therapy Pro diffuser. This puts the pure oil in the air. This is really great for killing airborne germs and bacteria 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night when you come home from work or school. Um, this will do it for about four to five hours. It covers about a 2,000 square foot area. So let's talk a minute about some supplements that support a strong immune system. Ini Pro is one of those supplements, and this is great. This is a chewable um, supplement, and you can take two at night. It really will help you sleep. It's a powerful immune stimulant, stimulates both cell mediated and humoral immunity, activates the T lymphocytes, interleukins, interferons, and the NK cells. It's to be taken at bedtime to benefit the immune system during the body's time of rest for maximum results. It's an excellent immune booster for those under extreme stress. This might be really good for my mom. I just never thought about that. It contains the essential oil of orange. So she might really enjoy this. I'm going to think about getting this for my mom. I have it in my cupboard at home. And if I, again, if I'm feeling under the weather, I will just chew on a couple of these. And these are great for children. If, they, if, you, if they're not sleeping well because they don't feel well, Give them one or two in your pros. They'll love to chew them. They taste so good. They have the nature wolf berry in them. And um, it'll help them sleep and calm them down as well. And I apologize. This is an old bottle of Inner Defense. I uh, put a new one at the back end of the presentation and forgot to change this one. But I did say that I was going to talk to you about Inner Defense. What's inside the bottle has not changed. It's just that the label has changed. Um, this is an this. The oils in Inner Defense are antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antiparasitic. They produce and promote lymphocyte formation, again, in the bone marrow. They reduce the risk of infectious diseases. So they're here to keep you healthy. Inner Defense keeps you healthy. It eliminates pathogenic organisms. It provides immediate and maximum results in aiding the immune system in defending the body against a spectrum of pathogenic organisms. It's encapsulated in an uncoated, fast-release vegetarian soft gel to provide immediate and maximum effect. It contains the seeds essential oil, and then Gary added extra clove, cinnamon, rose, um, extra, well, the seeds blend has clove, cinnamon, rosemary, eucalyptus, and lemon. And then he added citronella as well as oregano and thyme to inner defense. So he just kind of bumped it up. It's kind of like our bug buster that we made back in the day. Multi-greens supercharge your immune system with nutritious chlorophyll that helps the body maintain a high energy level. 
Multigreens are antiparasitic, anti-inflammatory, antifungal. They prevent candida and they strengthen the immune system. So you want to take it daily to help nourish yourself with the necessary nutrients for optimum immune health. It contains the essential oils of rosemary, lemon, lemongrass, and melissa. Super B, B vitamins are essential for normal function of the immune response. Young Living Super B has a long, has a time release action for optimal effectiveness. And there is no flushing, uh, uh, what do you call that, niacin flush with our Super B, which is really nice because mm -hmm. it is a time release key. Uh, it's a daily must for those experiencing high levels of stress. And sometimes I'll just take a half a tablet. I can actually break the little tablets in half as well. I'll only take like a half, and that seems to be enough for me. Uh, I don't live a very, a real stressful life. I don't have to work for somebody else anymore. And I know at one time that was very stressful for me. So a lot of times just a half a tablet will work. Vitamin B6 plays an important role in the immune response. A recent investigation of healthy elderly subjects in a vitamin B6 depletion repletion study indicates that vitamin B6 deficiency impairs the interleukin-2 production and the lymphocyte proliferation. Another study in HIV-1 infected patients found impaired immune responsiveness in patients with compromised vitamin B6 status. So see how important it is um, as far as maintaining a healthy immune system to take your, your vitamin B or your super B. And vitamin C, super C is vital for immunity. It promotes leukocyte formation as well. Super C will give you 1,083% uh, of the recommended daily uh, intake of vitamin C. This is powerful. I love our Super C. I have both the chewables and the um, non-chewables my, at my house because, um, you know, sometimes I just want to mix it up a little bit. It includes rutin bioflavonoids and minerals to balance electrolytes and enhance the effectiveness and absorption of the vitamin C. You see, Gary has put the C together in its wholeness with these things. When you eat an orange, if you're not eating the white membrane, those are the bioflavonoids. That's where a lot of the rutin is. If you're not eating that, you're not getting that whole C and you're not able to absorb it. Another thing about vitamin C that you may not know is that it's water soluble. So, uh, forgive me, but we pee this stuff out um, just as soon as, you know, your the cells of your body have gotten what it needs for that moment. So vitamin C can be taken throughout the day, chewing uh, a chewable vitamin C, one or two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two at night, is a great way to balance out your vitamin C intake. Those who are under physical stress, you drink alcohol, smoke, and or take certain medications, those things can deplete your vitamin C and, and you most definitely should be supplementing. You know, I watch how people eat sometimes and very few people are eating fresh oranges every day. I don't even eat a fresh orange every day. I try to eat, um, I shouldn't say try, I do eat fruits and vegetables in their natural state every day, but who knows if I'm getting enough vitamin C. So I know that I can feel confident that if I'm taking my super C that I'll be getting uh, what I need. It says here, the immune system is strongly influenced by the intake of nutrients. Several cells of the immune system can accumulate vitamin C and need the vitamin to perform their task. Thus, a vitamin C deficiency results in reduced resistance against certain pathogens, whilst a higher supply enhances several immune system parameters. Supplementation of vitamin C is most effective in cases of physical strain or insufficient intake of the vitamin. This particular supplement contains the essential oils of orange, tangerine, lemon, grapefruit, and lemongrass. So see how important vitamin C is? We need these vitamins, folks. And I think this is the last supplement, Life 5. And remember when I was talking about the large and small intestine, I said if you talk to a chronic therapist, they will tell you that the immune system root is in 
the, the gut, in the digestive tract. And so the bowel needs, is the source of core health and vitality. All important transfers of nutrients to the bloodstream take place in the bowel. It is the center of the immune system and the eliminator of waste products. A blend of the most resilient probiotics studied with proven ability to colonize the gut and promote immunity, infection resistance, infection resistance and vitamin synthesis is like five. It includes two new super strains that improve colonization up to 10 times because they have the best adhesion of any pro probiotic known. They have Lactobacterium lactis and Bifidobacterium lactis. Those are the two new super strains. With, within each capsule is a specific prebiotic mix developed especially for these blends to provide unmatched enhancements of cultural growth. There are five different strains in this particular uh, probiotic capsule. And you know, if you're really, if you have a compromised immune system for whatever reason, taking three or five at night is what Gary has recommended for um, certain situations. If you have a chronic uh, issue and you need to balance or bring that um, bowel back to homeostasis, taking that many um, by five is, is healthy, is good. 90 days to a healthier immune system. Step one, enroll to receive your wholesale membership if you haven't already done so. And of course, we recommend uh, getting either the uh, Everyday Oils Kit, and I see that I have the old Everyday Oils box on here, so I need to. I just noticed that it had um, the diffuser and everything, and I just didn't even think about the box. But this is still, I mean, what we're getting here is 11 bottles of oil. Uh, we're getting a free diffuser. You're getting two packs of tincture rad. You're getting um, some samples that you can share with your friends because you're going to be so excited about getting your oils. And the great thing about it is that you get a 24% discount on all future Young Living products. So you're a wholesale member for life. The lifetime member, wholesale membership has no annual fees. It's just recommended that you purchase a $50 order once a year to stay active. Uh, this maintains a, an active membership with Young Living. Step two is enroll in your 90-day Healthy Immune System Essential Rewards Program. This is going to ensure that you don't run out of the products that you need to boost your immune system or to keep it in balance. And the beauty of the Essential Rewards um, Program is that you earn. Every time you put in an order, you get a rebate of either 10, 15, or 20 percent, depending on how long you've been on Essential Rewards, to use toward free products. And you get this on each shipment. Only order one time a month on your Essential Rewards um, program, and then that way you can get full benefit of that, re that rebate. Enjoy reduced shipping. You'll get uh, discount pricing on exclusive product packages, and again, you'll never run out of those products that you need. Here are a couple of suggestions for Essential Rewards order. You can do the uh, Inner Defense, the Life 5, and the Inner Power, and I did change that slide, and I didn't save it. I don't know for the Inner Defense picture, but this is one of your essential rewards orders. Uh, second order could be you want to get your Super B, your Super C, and maybe you want to throw in a bottle of Mountain Savory, because we know that that boosts the immunity as well. Another suggestion here is the Inner Defense. Mm -hmm. would be another bottle of Inner Defense, some Frankincense, and to try that Inupro. That Inupro is really great stuff. And like I said, I think I'm going to give my mom some on her since she awards this next month for me. Um, healthy tips, eat nutritious, well-balanced meals. Do some kind of exercise at least 30 minutes every day. This is imperative. Enjoy the outdoors. Get some fresh air and at least 10 minutes of sunshine. And you know, sometimes we have those days where we don't get any sunshine. But if you can just go to the window and breathe in deep, you're going to get all of those great positive uh, or negative ions from the rain. 
And that's very healing, too. Be grateful. Live in the moment. Keep a gratitude journal. Have a sense of humor. Nourish your spirit. And live, laugh, and love. Here's some resources for you. Of course, we're big promoters of the essential oils desk reference. You can also get the pocket, pocket reference. And you can get this from discoverlsp.com. There's also brochures on fighting super germs and other brochures that you might want to look at at essentialproductinfo.com. This is Sound Concept. And there's a great um, pamphlet. It's an 11 and a half by 8 and a half. So it's a large uh, full color pamphlet called Cancer versus Essential Oils and Other Super Nutrients. And this can be purchased at Abundant Health for You. I think you might also be able to get these at discoverlsp.com. I'm not positive. I need to check that out. So we want to welcome you to Young Living, fortifying the health of families yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. It's always a pleasure to share with you. I'm going to turn off the recording and see if there was anything that 